Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's having a good uh, morning or a good day so far. Um, I'm up here at the barn and we're going to spread another load of furt. We're nearly at the end of the furt. We've got, uh, I've just got the new grass paddocks to do, which I'm going to wait a bit longer. And then I've got uh, three paddocks at the back of the farm, which I've got to do. Otherwise, everything else is done. I'm going to have a little bit left over, which I'll um, just put on in places where uh, a little bit extra could go. But um, the new grass is doing really well. So really starting to grow. You can really see that green tinge on the paddock. So uh, yeah, today's the 4th of April, Monday the 4th of April. So yeah, it's been probably nearly two weeks, I think, since this was uh, planted. So yeah, no, it's looking good. All right. Uh, let's get on with the uh, spreading fertilizer. I've only got two tonne of food on because I've got two tonne left and that will do the, the new grass paddocks so um, there will be a little bit left over it won't all go on the new grass but uh, yeah I just don't want to run out so I've got two tonne to go up here I've got three paddocks to do so about two hectare paddocks just over two hectares each so it um, won't take too long to get them done. The paddocks that have had your um, fertilizer, which has got a bit of nitrogen and everything else in it, they look really good, as you can see right here. Um, so I don't know if you can tell by my voice, I'm a little bit uh, raspy. Um, I've had COVID on Wednesday last week, Monday, 
been a light positive on Thursday. I tested again, and uh, it was a strong one straight away. So um, on Thursday was the worst day, and I was sleeping most of the afternoon and resting a bit. <coughs> and then um, Friday I worked, but did a bit of light work and ran out of energy by the end of the day. But I haven't had a cold like that for a while. It's um, definitely, definitely uh, not something to get. But our whole family's had it now. We got it. Obviously, kids going to school, brought it home. Um, so uh, our four kids have had it, and uh, my parents have also had it because we're living with them at the moment. We're all done now. amazing uh, at the moment the conditions are so good for spreading fur. I've gone places this year where I haven't gone before but also it helps to have a, um, a bigger tractor just a little bit more weight a bit more power going down hills on, holds on real well going downhill this tractor it does help that it's got fairly new tires on the front this paddock that we're in now is called the gully paddock and as kids we used to spend a lot of time riding in this paddock it used to not have that fence through the middle it used to be one big paddock so it was you know heaps of space Quite a bumpy paddock, I guess that's why we like riding in it. Got lots of little jumps in it. Got hills all around it. Got a swamp in the middle.
afternoon everyone uh, it's been a good day today while I've been spreading fertilizer there's honey over there <coughs> hello yeah Yeah, what is it? What colour is it? Okay, yep. Alright, yep. <coughs> Alright, yep. Alright, see ya. Alright, good afternoon everyone. It's been a, it's been a good day today. Um, I haven't been able to work on this, but... Um, We've had the builder and a group of guys here at lunchtime, and they got the beams in. See the steel beam up there? There's one. There's the the second one, and then the third one is out here. Just there, so it's carrying the where the old wall used to be. <coughs> um, yeah, so I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to work on it because uh, I'm still isolating, which is a bit of a bugger. But I felt a bit dumb up the farm spreading fertilizer with all the guys here lifting these heavy beams in. We had eight guys lifting them in. Mum provided some food for them, keep them happy. But um, yeah, they got them in. So over the next couple of days, the builder will tie it all onto the ceiling, to the roof. And then uh, we'll be able to remove these jack studs out of the way. We'll be actually be able to see what's uh, going on. So it's a pretty big, um, pretty big thing to get these beams in. That's what we've been waiting for for a while. So it should start to move along now because we can uh, get on with wiring, jibbing, uh, put the put the store in over here, and then the store behind me can go in. So yeah, big thanks to those guys that did it. Uh, couldn't have done it without you guys. Thanks to the builder as well. He's uh, all the preparation worked out good. The dad's been busy up here as well over the last week. He started on the deck here. So this deck, we're just going to stop it down there for now because we'll do the rest of the deck at a later stage. But we're going to do this piece here. There'll be a dry room here because we don't have a dry room for keeping our ovals and all that sort of stuff in. So yeah. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm. See ya.